Warren Buffett, with nickname the Oracle of Omaha, embodies a unique brand of investing wisdom. He doesn't chase fads or flinch at market swings. His strategy? Invest in companies with strong fundamentals and hold them for the long haul. This philosophy, rooted in value investing, has propelled him to legendary status in the financial world. Buffett's approach hinges on identifying undervalued assets, businesses poised to generate substantial cash flow over time. He shuns short-term speculation, preferring to build a portfolio of companies with enduring value. His investment decisions are not driven by fleeting market sentiment, but by a deep understanding of a company's intrinsic worth. This long-term perspective sets him apart from many investors who prioritize quick profits. Buffett's focus on a company's underlying value, rather than its stock price at any given moment, has become his trademark. His success story is not merely about financial acumen, it reflects his seven-disciplined approach to investing. Number 1. Gold, the ultimate safe haven, has always held a certain allure. Its price, influenced by global events and investor sentiment, fluctuates with the winds of uncertainty. But for Warren Buffett, this precious metal lacks a crucial element. It doesn't produce anything. Buffett's investment philosophy centers on businesses that generate tangible value, companies that create products, provide services, and contribute to the economy. Gold, in his view, simply sits there, its value derived solely from what someone is willing to pay for it. This lack of intrinsic productivity sets it apart from businesses that generate wealth through their operations. Buffett favors companies that build, innovate, and generate profits through their core activities. Gold, in contrast, represents a static form of investment, its value subject to the whims of the market. Buffett's focus on tangible value stems from a belief in the power of companies to grow and compound their earnings. Gold, while a store of value, doesn't possess this inherent ability to generate wealth. As the Bible says in Matthew 25, 14, 30, the parable of the talents emphasizes the importance of multiplying investments. Buffett's approach aligns with this principle, focusing on assets that grow and yield returns. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Warren Buffett's investment philosophy, please subscribe, like, and share this video. 2. Gold's history is a tapestry woven with booms and busts. Its price, often driven by fear and uncertainty, can soar during times of crisis, only to plummet when stability returns. This volatility makes it a risky proposition for long-term investors like Buffett, who prefer steady, predictable growth. Looking back, gold's performance as an investment has been inconsistent. While it has shown during periods of economic turmoil, acting as a hedge against inflation and market downturns, these spikes have been interspersed with prolonged periods of stagnation. This unpredictable nature makes it a less appealing asset for those seeking consistent returns. Buffett's preference for businesses stems from their ability to adapt and innovate, even during challenging times. They can adjust their strategies, streamline operations, and find new avenues for growth. Gold, on the other hand, remains static, its fate tied to external forces. This fundamental difference in their risk-reward profiles explains Buffett's preference for building a portfolio of companies with strong underlying fundamentals. 3. While gold might glitter, Warren Buffett's heart belongs to companies that generate tangible value. He gravitates towards businesses with strong fundamentals, a history of profitability, and the potential to grow their earnings over time. These companies, in his view, are the true wealth creators. Buffett's investment portfolio reads like a who's who of American industry. Coca-Cola, Apple, Bank of America. These companies, with their robust business models and global reach, exemplify his investment philosophy. They generate consistent profits, pay dividends, and reinvest in their growth, creating a virtuous cycle of value creation. This focus on companies that produce goods provide services, and contribute to the economy, underscores Buffett's belief in the power of productive assets. These businesses, unlike gold, don't rely solely on market sentiment for their value. They create tangible products and services that people need and want, generating real economic output in the process. 
4. Gold's allure lies in its perceived safety, its image as a haven during economic storms. However, this perception, according to Buffett, is often misguided. He argues that gold's value is ultimately driven by speculation, not by its inherent usefulness or its ability to generate wealth. Buffett believes that investing in productive assets, companies that create goods and services, is a more reliable path to building long-term wealth. These companies, unlike gold, possess the ability to adapt to changing market conditions, innovate, and grow their earnings over time. This inherent potential for growth makes them a more compelling investment proposition, in his view. This lack of intrinsic value creation makes it an unattractive investment for those seeking to compound their wealth over time. Buffett's perspective challenges the conventional wisdom surrounding gold. 5. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy isn't just about financial returns, it's deeply intertwined with his ethical compass. He believes in investing in companies that make a positive contribution to society, businesses that create jobs, produce useful products, and operate with integrity. This moral dimension adds another layer to his investment decisions. Buffett's aversion to gold, in a way, reflects his belief in the importance of productive contributions to the economy. He prefers to invest in companies that actively participate in and contribute to society's growth and well-being. This ethical framework guides his investment choices, leading him towards companies that align with his values. This focus on ethical considerations extends beyond his investment portfolio. Buffett is known for his philanthropy, pledging the majority of his wealth to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and other charitable causes. For more insightful investment content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our website for additional resources to guide your investment journey. 6. Warren Buffett's disdain for gold, while perplexing to some, underscores a fundamental principle of investing understanding intrinsic value. It's not about chasing shiny objects or following the herd. It's about discerning the true worth of an asset, its ability to generate returns over the long haul. This principle lies at the heart of Buffett's investment philosophy. Gold, in his view, lacks this intrinsic value. Its price is largely driven by speculation and market sentiment, making it a volatile and unreliable investment. Businesses, on the other hand, possess the potential to generate real economic value through their operations, creating goods and services that people need and want. This concept of intrinsic value extends beyond the balance sheet. It encompasses a company's management team, its competitive moat, its brand equity, and its ability to adapt to changing market conditions. 7. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy, epitomized by his aversion to gold, offers a timeless lesson for investors of all stripes. It's a call to look beyond the allure of quick profits and embrace the power of long-term value creation. It's about understanding that true wealth is built by investing in companies that solve problems, create jobs, and contribute to a better future. As you navigate the complex world of investing, remember the lessons learned from Warren Buffett. Do your homework, be patient, and focus on the fundamentals. Don't be swayed by the latest fads or the fear of missing out. Instead, embrace the quest for intrinsic value, seeking out companies with the potential to stand the test of time. This journey requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn and adapt. By embracing a value-oriented approach, rooted in thorough research and a long-term perspective, you can navigate these complexities with greater confidence. As it is written in Matthew 25, 14, 30, the parable of the talents teaches us the importance of wise investment and the multiplication of resources.